shout when we go live. We're going to run titles, yeah? Okay. Okay. Right, let's keep an eye on the time. It is precisely quarter two, so that's good. That's good. Show running, uh, show starting soon, yeah. serious issue but we have an issue with the uh Uh, is that the 747 going out now? Is that the member 747? Is that him? No. Here's one. Here's one. Okay, that is it. Okay, there we go, I got it, I got it. Okay, that's 747 just starting to appear now. You got audio, yeah? Check audio. Sim strength, Jilly.
and uh, that dash eight is um, just waiting for that seven forty seven. I three twenty one. Vortex coming off those uh, flat rocks. Here's DJ. just hidden behind that uh, that building if you're watching folks uh, good morning we're just about to start the live show uh, just sort of like going out of our uh, normal remit at the moment before we run the titles because we do have a, uh, a viewer who's on board a 747 heading out to where Jim Washington or Washington behind the Virgin's maintenance shed, folks. That's what we're waiting for at the moment. Should start to make a move. I thought that actually was his wingtip earlier on. So that's a uh, Dreamliner. 800 series, looking very sorry for itself. Engines removed for repair, obviously. Uh, those familiar with the uh, the program here at London Heathrow will know that that is the. Um... Okay, I'm going to go with this one as well. <laughs> We're going to get some great through the cloud shots today of this Bandit Triple Seven Air Canada. Jet TV, big shout out to all our new friends over there in Ireland. Thanks for welcoming us. Good old Irish hospitality. Maybe you need to sort your networks out though. Uh, we have to thank Vodafone for. Uh... Here we go, there he is, Jilly. Which side's he on? Or where's he at? I think it will be on the left side because they usually go A, B, C, A across to the from left to right. So he's on the um, yeah, he's on the other side. I think so. Um, anyway, if he's watching right now, what's his name, Jilly? John Stillman flying out to uh, Boston. Is it Boston? Washington. Get it right, son. Okay, GP. Let's. Uh, you ready to run titles? Okay, run titles.
be watching Big Jet TV. Okay, folks, welcome to Big Jet TV. It's the Saturday show, and uh, this is your free view. 15 minutes of action for all you free view guys and girls out there. We know there's a lot of um, people of all ages who love to watch the show, and anyone from Russia watching right now is one of yours. of specials guys today for elite members I'm going to be on for three hours as if I haven't given you guys enough this week we all love aviation if we're a true blue aviation lover then um, you won't want to miss this I'm just waiting for that 747 to go out see if I can catch him I did get just as we went to the titles find that uh, the Dreamliner being pushed back. Um, that's what um, Dan from DJ's Aviation was planning on uh, flying out on. Hello and welcome back to DJ's Aviation. So good day to everybody watching on uh, the uh, Elite channel as well. All our Elite members already out there uh, in the Elite exclusive Elite area. Look at the length of that Turkish 300 ER. That's a real that really goes to show you the length of the uh, 300. I think I hear her going out now. That might be her going out now. We are here for arrivals, folks, but uh, we're just catching this one 747 going out. Um, a viewer with Big Jet TV. Heading out to the US Bay, stateside. Oh no, triple seven. Not going to miss anything on the left-hand side, folks. Rolls-Royce 001 is that RR at 001. Good morning to you, Jess Boy 24. No DJ's not with me. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, wherever you are in the world, wherever you're watching Big Jet TV, you are more than welcome. Uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, we love your company. Greg Lacars, Ian's Plane Show, Stevie uh, McGuigan. I'm going to keep an eye out here. I'm not going to read comments just for a second. Hold your comments, folks. I'm just waiting for this 747 to roll out. Make sure I don't miss it, because if, uh, if I spend my time looking at the screen reading comments out, then the chances are there's one going out now. Good chance I'll miss it. Okay. Wow, this free view just goes too quick, folks. Love to have you along for longer, but we have to look after our elite members. And uh, welcome to all elite members who have joined up. You guys are joining up in your droves, literally uh, during the shows, uh, between the shows as well. And uh, we can't welcome you enough. And it's gonna be great to uh, be giving some new shout outs to new friends and family here on Big Jet TV uh, during the elite show which is coming up in around about 10 minutes' time. Just keeping a check on that. No, nope, it's uh, that Turkish triple going out. So that's interesting. The Turkish triple was actually... Has he gone already, Jilly, or is he still waiting there at the end of the runway? Still there. Is he still there? Okay. Andy Johnson, good morning. Danny Williams, XWB777, good morning. So we might get some Vortex, uh, some Vortex going on this morning. Quite misty day here, it's not foggy folks, it's just mist. I hear a rumble. 
Oh no, hold on a minute. I can actually see her. She's still sitting there. Gary Goodchild, Richard Multara, Foy Whitland. Hello, good morning to you. Fifi Laguna, Georgina Johnson. These are all guys here in Facebook land. Good morning, jo um, Harmic Viscani at the Joker. Andrew Nadine, good morning to you. Spitfire, RAF 100, good morning. Talking about RAF 100, guess who followed us this week, folks? Um, we've had a follow on Twitter by none other than the Red Arrows, by Airbus, and also by Boeing. Those three great big accounts following us. Um, so it's great to have you guys on board and uh, welcome to the family of Big Jet TV. Stephen Parslow flew on the A380 for the first time in December. Fantastic aircraft. I personally uh, have not flown on the A380, uh, flown on literally other air every other aircraft, um, including the A220. Um, but uh, interestingly enough, I do hear um, because obviously the smaller the aircraft, the more of a sort of like seat of your, uh, the, the, you know, uh, um, harsher ride it is in terms of uh, uh, takeoff, especially takeoff. Let's, let's see if I can get this. But on the A380, it's like a cushion. Right, I'm going to have to miss this triple that's coming in now. Uh, then we're going to have to uh, jump over to read out some comments for our partners. But we'll get a couple of landings because I'm getting this. We'll go a little bit of overtime on it, GP. 747 is moving. RR001 is on the move on his way to Heathrow right now. That is the Renaissance Hotel that you're seeing over there. That's our second position here at London Heathrow. We do have three decent positions here at London Heathrow. Of course, we've got the paddock. There she goes. So I might get a bit of wing fluff because we're getting those kind of atmospherics today. Looks like she's been de-iced. Yeah, there's the condensation already, man. Check that out. Right, there you go. Okay, back to the action. Right, we are very fortunate enough, of, of course, folks, to be right up here on top of the Hilton Garden Inn. You can see uh, the, um, the logo right there on the right-hand side of your screen. I just wanted to make sure that you're aware that these guys here have fantastic room rates. And if you're a Big Jet TV member, you get 10% off of your, um, your hotel room. They've always got great room rates, and these views that you're seeing right now are the kind of room uh, views that you're going to get from uh, the seventh floor here at the Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, we did a little piece on room 7, Foley 7, uh, right here at HGI, and uh, you might want to check that out on our YouTube and Facebook channels. Uh, just head back in the archive and look out for the Hilton Garden Inn promo that I did for these guys, just as a little thank you uh, for them of course, looking after us. We really appreciate that. So, uh, some shout outs. Um, just to let you guys know that we have a very extensive shop um, here at Big Jet TV. Of course, we have a wide range of uh, designs. Um, and of course, you want to check out my phone case, which is, of course is on long-term test. Um, I have to say, of all the phone cases I've had, and trust me, I've had the, um, the expensive ones from the iStore and the likes, but um, the one that we do at Big Jet TV, um, only s uh, select phones it's available for. But um, if you've got an iPhone or uh, Android, just check out the store to see what, um, what phones we have them for. And I'll, ch I'll tell you, they're really good. They've got the Big Jet TV logo on them as well. And um, of course, we deliver all across the world, guys. Um, wherever you are in the world, we will deliver. So um, your prices will all come in. in of um, 
of delivery as well and of course we do do personal designs as well so if you want to have your name or your initials or the kids names or anything like that on there um, then uh, we can do that for you, you just need to uh, speak to us and we'll do it so don't forget we've got sunglasses, mugs, lug uh, luggage tags and uh, of course members of Big Tech TV will get a discount um, if they buy from the store. Okay, next up we've got Aviation Retail Direct. Now folks, um, I know we have a lot of model um, uh, collectors here on Big Jet TV, uh, both the die cast and the plastic versions. And um, they've got two stores, one right here at the Renaissance, near the Renaissance Hotel, just around the corner from there. Just a little store, but there they really rammed it full of models. And of course, they've got the one at Hillingdon as well. Huge range of die cast and plastic models, books and more, of course. Uh, they've got large scale as well, if you're into that. Uh, they do do the odd uh, huge scales uh, right the way through to the Tiddler range as well. Exotic airlines and exotic aircraft all the way uh, from way back in the day. Uh, I remember when I was uh, flying with my dear old dad on the DC-854. Great selection of military aircraft too, including the AWACS that I've seen down there. And it's probably a good idea to join their discount program uh, for just £10 a year. That means that every time you, join, uh, you buy a model, you will get discount on every item that you buy. Okay, so, um, Thanks to D, uh, uh, a, uh, ARD Aviation, RetailDirect.co.uk. They're the guys that you want to check out. There's uh, Qantas out there. And uh, while we're looking at Qantas, um, we'll talk about DJ's Aviation. Of course, a uh, good friend of ours, uh, Dan from DJ's Aviation, all the way out there in Oz. Um, we get a lot of our industry news uh, and airline information, who's buying what, who's selling what, who's retiring what, uh, from the guys at DJ's Aviation. Um, check him out on all the channels. Uh, of course, um, YouTube is uh, where I found him, and uh, he has regular updates on there. So just make sure you subscribe to DJ's Aviation um, on all the main channels. Okay, so folks, here we go. The next one uh, we've got is spotterguide.net. Now, you know that we do uh, Euro tours for our elite members. They are elite only. And don't forget, next week we'll be at Munich. Um, now, when we, um, when we do the research for our Euro tours, invariably we always go to spotterguide.net. Uh, that's a fantastic source of information uh, online where you can find out all the details on the airport that you're visiting to do your plane spotting from. Um, they literally have everything that you need to know. Frequency of aircraft, how busy the runways are. They've got an overhead map of the runway with all the spots uh, where you can go and view from. Uh, places full of refreshments, uh, all the lo local locations, transport networks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so wherever you're going to, um, to check out your uh, information on the uh, the trip that you're doing, uh, make sure you head over to spotterguide.net. Great bunch of fellas there as well. They're always willing to help as well, or they'll always answer you. So um, give them a try and uh, check out your. Make sure you organise your next plane spotting trip at spotterguide.net. Oh look. Helvetic uh, Swiss Embraer going out. Hello. Je suis en Privet 737. Who's is that, I wonder? I'm sure what someone's going to come up and tell us. So finally, guys, uh, well, not finally, but just another one of our partners that you've got to give a big shout out to is cam.airlive.net. Now these guys at airlive.net um, do have a 24-7 camera uh, located here at London Heathrow. So give them a check out at, 20, at uh, cam, C-A-M, dot airlive, dot net. The, uh, the banner is right there on your screen as you see that private 737. And yes, folks, that is uh, one of the Concords um, weeping from her windows, which is a very sad thing to see. Currently free, the cam. Uh, it's currently free for a limited time and they do a uh, 
uh, an all features option for six dollars a month no limited time uh, of viewing and of course you've got radar tracking on there and uh, people who join can even ask for specific aircraft uh, that they're landing on or traveling on to be uh, to be featured on there so uh, they even have um, limited ATC radio so check them out at cam.airlive.net beautiful smoky going out there last up folks now if you're into uh, if you're into your print media and you like to have a good read of a magazine every now and then, uh, you might want to check out Airliner World. Airliner World, of course, um, a great print media magazine made here in the UK. Um, these guys have some great um, photographers and journos who uh, write their features. Uh, you might want to check them out. Of course, they're online as well at airlinerworld.com. Co UK. Latest issue uh, featuring Air Astana's new A220 with the Leopard livery, uh, which is a great one to see as well. We're hoping to do something with those guys in the near future. So, check them out at airlinerworld.co.uk. Right, well that's about it for our partners. Thanks a lot to all of you guys for supporting us as well. We really appreciate it. Wow, uh, the um, chat's going a bit mental on YouTube. Let's give some shout outs to, uh, to some of you guys before we... Wow, Paul Hoffer saying, sadly you're not today in Munich. A lot of pr private jets there because of Munich Security Conference. Wow, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to be doing airside folks live and exclusive to our elite members on, on, on Wednesday of next week. I'm flying out to Munich, and this time we are gonna be uh, airside with the um, ground ops team uh, who push back the aircraft. Uh, we're gonna be taking a good, close look at the, uh, the equipment that they use and uh, getting some up-close pushbacks. And hopefully, we'll get to see the Dortmund uh, A350 once again. But for sure, uh, because um, the uh, Munich is the home of the A350 with Lufthansa. We will, of course, be getting a lot of action from airside um, with the guys at Munich. So you might want to join us airside live. Of course, that will be after Monday, where we will be here airside exclusively as well with the BOAC 747 that's being delivered in from Ireland. From Dublin. Look, VA Neon. Of course, if you joined us on um, on our show at uh, from Broughton this week from the Airbus facility. Those wings that are on that aircraft would have been manufactured, assembled and flown out to Toulouse on the uh, Beluga, on one of the Belugas. Some really exclusive stuff there that I'd love to film, um, but I'm just waiting to uh, get the um, clearance clearance on that. So what do we got on TRT, GP? Lisa Sargent saying uh, 321 that just came in uh, that we saw just now was using both the Southern and Lambon track. Well, uh, Jess Boy her, uh, is subscribed. Hello, Jess Boy, how are you doing? Cozy TV, Jacob Mould, Hakan Dagan, Stephen McGuigan, Oscar Hickman, Long Fighter 06, Henry Hasabi, Pamela Campbell, uh, Lisa Sargent, Dave Johnson. Wow, look at that. Neo after Neo. So they're really coming on stream now with those Neos. New engine option, if anybody's wondering what the NEO stands for. And of course, what all us uh, aviation fans are really waiting for is the A330 Neo. And trust me, folks, on a daily basis, I'm trying to put it out there, get in touch with TAP, the launch customer for the Neo, to get out there and do a special feature with them. If anything, get out to Portugal and uh, film that aircraft up. 
Just a little look down here, you can see the uh, Rolls-Royce uh, Trent 800 size comparison between that and the GE90. Much uh, sort of like bigger fan casing. And of course that's a 300 there versus the 200. Still running the uh, Trent 8s and the uh, GEs on the um, 200 series. Do we know what that is, that set 37? Oh. oh, just missed it. Just missed it. Sorry, folks. Henry Hassabi, just keep watching. We are watching Big Jets on Big Jet TV. Good morning, wherever you are in the world. Uh, right, jumping over quickly, Catherine Harkis, uh, Paul Whitehead, Roy Claringbowl, good morning, Fifi Laguna, Rich Torb is in the house. Rich Torb is a, uh, an A330 American Airlines pilot uh, who is with Big Jet TV. Hello, Rich, how are you doing? Roy Claringbowl, um, wow, from Beijing, that uh, private jet, private jet air. So that's the kind of thing that we will be um, focusing on uh, Wednesday, folks, at Munich, exclusively Big Jet TV live from the airside. Uh, there with our very good friend. Okay, here we go. It's an old 777-200. Going on the Rolls Royce Trent 8. Big foot. What's the runtime? What's the runtime? Okay, folks, this is it. This is it. Um, wow. Uh, I hate to do this, as you know. Um, We've got an A380 on its way. If you want to become a Big Jet TV Elite member, uh, you are more than welcome, and we'd love to have you along for the show. But we now have to look after our Elite members. Um, I'm just going to do a quick PTC just to say goodbye to you folks, and uh, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate your company, folks. Elite members, you can now make your way over to the Elite channel, and uh, we'll catch you in there. We've got some big, heavy stuff coming in. We're going to be here for another three hours. Minimums, minimums. Uh, so, listen, free viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your company and uh, look after yourselves. We will be live here from London Heathrow. If you've got time to join us on Monday, it's something very, very uh, exciting. B O A C, new livery. Uh, well, I say new, it's the old original livery from way back in the day in the uh, early 70s. Uh, something that you'll never see again uh, until Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but Tuesday will be an elite show only as well. So uh, listen, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you later. Uh, Jilly, go with elite.